everyone welcome to colorful pages today's class is specially for those who will try their hand first time in fabric color this is a fabric painting class i will be painting a pillow case and showing you how to use fabric colors this class will be conducted in the ambience of the nature i hope you will enjoy the class so let's get started the material which i am going to use today i will introduce you with all that so this is a paper i have taken a small piece of paper because i want to make my own design i don't want to depend on an internet design or go to a shopkeeper for printing a design on my pillowcase so i will be making my own design and i will also brief you about how to create your own design using one paper this is around a4 size of sheet other than this i will use of course scissors this is one tape this is the carpentry tape or uh, the masking tape all right um, i will be uses using some brushes i have one flat brush one liner brush and two round brush so i will use accordingly whatever i require at the time i will use one fabric color only so this is a fevicryl acrylic or fabric color which i am using right now only persian blue color single color i am using because i am doing this for the beginners i don't want them to be getting confused you know too much thinking about the color combination and various th other things i just want them to do it simple and easy later on we'll go for more uh, varieties of doing fabric colors but this one is for the beginners of course i need a pencil which i forgot to mention and i need pillow case so this is one pillow case i have two pillow cases so i have selected one dull green pillow case right and i am sure my persian color blue color persian blue will look very nice on this color okay so we'll start with making the design for making the design the first thing i'm going to use is the paper pencil and my scale i am just checking the width of this paper so the width of this paper this side is 21 cm i want a circle for drawing a circle what i will do now at different points from here i will mark 21 cm like this here will be zero this point this side and here i will mark 21 see these things are really easy you have a scale if you don't have a compass you can do it with scale that is why i am showing you with scale because i want things to be very simple and i want to show you explain you using things which you have mostly at your home and you don't have to run here and there you know hunting for such things so this point you need to be very careful and 21 cm you are marking this is my last mark here for 21 cm this side right and you see you have already got a circle like shape now this is quarter circle okay it's not a full circle it is a quarter circle so like this easily i've drawn a quarter circle okay now what is to be done get ready for cutting so my pair of scissors ready and i will cut this like this again i'm saying the same thing you don't have to be very specific about the shape little bit here and there will go okay now next thing you just have to fold it like this see this point connect like this and press it okay now once again fold it once more just check that all these things are together the corner is nicely done if it is not then just you know with your hand check it properly just see that this tip is nicely done yes it is now nicely done like this like this see now two folds i have done i'll open and show it to you again 
this was a quarter circle you can see this is a quarter circle one fold and then one more fold like this my things are absolutely ready so what i'm going to do next is i will just hold a paper and i will draw some very basic elementary design on this like this keep the point the tip of the paper towards your side okay so what i'm doing is firstly i am making a this triangle after the triangle i will make like this one shape and this side one more like this okay one shape now this side from here random like this and one shape from here like this from this side i am making one drop shape and then one more shape like this and which will go further like this okay and this side i will make another shape similar kind like this very simple random shapes random okay this is not a very planned thing it's just a random shape now what next the cutting part so i start the cutting here and here i will do cutting like this then this portion needs to be cut like this like this and like this now this portion to be cut from this side you will find a surprise a very very beautiful design which will come out now so i've cut this part also now what this portion from this side like this and like this you just trim this nicely okay now this part so here it goes like this and from here for those who know a bit of craft this is just like making those paper snowflakes but in the paper snowflake we take a full circle whereas here i have taken a quarter circle so here it goes this one and this is my last piece which i'm going to cut so the extra bits of paper removed you can see how the design looks like now i will open it and show it to you so this quarter design which we have cut will open and it will look like this gently open and see so see how beautiful your quarter design looks see the pattern the design the beauty so simply you can do things no you don't have to worry so much about getting a design or hunting for internet these things you can do with just one blink of your eyes here i'm opening this pillow cover this one is ready i'll take my scale you can use a measuring tape as well whatever is available to you now from the corner this corner okay the end the edge till here i am taking 8 cm and i am marking a border of 8 cm like this from all the four sides right and i will make some more marks because i don't want this 
you know line to be little here and there i want to be very particular about this line so i will mark some more marks right let us do the breadth side now 8 cm i'll do like this so that i get i can measure this also along with the width i can measure the length and go correct so this is the point right so it goes like this and like this easily how you can take out so some extra points i'm marking how good it feels to enjoy your art in nature sitting in the garden in a pleasant weather enjoying painting in nature a good weather a good breeze all this will add to the beauty of your painting i guess this is from this side the last mark again i will come to the sides so sides like this see and this side if you put your marks in the cloth it is always easy to do your work then you don't have to be you know in a confused state all this happens quickly if you will not not mark then you may face little problem i always prefer marking so that you know to avoid those situations in which my cloth get dirty here and there because of extra pencil lines so i mark from i use this marking technique from the starting only so this is about to get over and we'll start joining the lines now oh wow this is my last mark over here and i guess one more right one more one more will be done like this yes so this the corner will be formed in this way see i've made the corners now i will sketch the lines yes so okay like this nicely first don't be in hurry okay first set your scale properly do not be in hurry very easy it is and you have to be very peaceful in a calm state of mind you should do this you should never panic there is no need to hurry at all when you are doing such things just enjoy the the work which you are doing so this is the next line like this always remember this fabric painting thing when you are doing you must never use too much of water actually water is not required otherwise your cloth will get dirty now this this tip is for the beginners okay this is not for the people who are doing advance in water color in this uh, fabric color remember in advanced technique we use lot of water but those who are just starting with fabric color should not or should avoid completely avoid using water they must ensure that their cloth is your cloth is always dry so here i have done with my first set of lines what i am doing now i am making another border inside the previous border okay so what i will use around half centimeter to make another border here but my scale already has a half centimeter margin another extra line so i will quickly draw 
this is called double bordering because I'm going to fill color in this when I'm going to fill color in this again I don't want my color to you know my lines to be zigzag or crooked and my color to come out here and there and trouble me later so starting only I make sure and I draw the lines like this. this is around you can see it is around one centimeter right it's around one centimeter I'm making a second line all the four sides I'm doing this so I can always turn my cloth here and there to make these lines set the cloth nicely okay when you will draw the second line you will realize that the first line may be you know because it is cloth it may shift little here and there so just set your cloth before sketching the line just see nicely and beautiful work you have to do okay almost done this is the last line now which I am doing yes okay here it goes the last line yes done okay now scales work is done so let us trace the design which we have made out of paper on the cloth let's see how we do it so this was the design which we had made out of cutting the paper I will set up in this 90 degree angle you can see this is a 90 degree angle yes from the second line okay I'm not using the first line I'm using the second line like this place it gently here and set your design see now it is almost set little more little more a little more okay done okay after you do this keep something on it so I'm keeping this fabric color oh I move the design I need to set it again yes now done let me check let me check yes done now what I'll do I'll keep the scissor also so that my this paper is not blown up with this nice breeze which is there in my garden today I'll take a bit of masking tape like this and will fix here in the in the corners somewhere here and there in the design so that my design while I'm tracing it it does not move otherwise it is going to trouble me a lot and I really don't want my design to trouble me so this is how I do easily yes all right so some more bits of tape here and there to fix my design properly on the cloth I guess one more is required the last one yes done Chalo. now I'll remove this fabric color and scissor and I need a pencil to trace it down so quickly like this you can draw the entire design like this see simple and easy so the entire design can be drawn on the paper like this you know this design is a very smart design you know this design is a very smart design I have cut a quarter circle so I can use it and make a full circle design or a half circle design as well it depends on how I am using it that is called the placement of the design if I will make another and I will use twice the same design I can make it a semicircle and if I will want to make a circle I can use I can trace this design four times so it will become a full circle like suppose I want to do a bed sheet 
in the bed sheet in the center i can make this full circle with the help of this same design this is a magical design like this fabric painting is very easy and this tutorial will be very helpful to you because it's very simple the design the output will be very good it is easy to do and you will of course get a try on the color and you will understand how the color works on the cloth then later on we'll go for some advanced tutorial related to fabric color in which some advanced fabric color technique will be taught and some different kind of material home furnishing or wearable material will be prepared using that technique the advanced technique of fabric color so design is almost done you can see that with the help of this tape the masking tape my design it was so convenient to you know trace the design on this then you can slightly slide it up and see whether you have not missed any you know any part of the design so my thing is done i have checked so very nicely i will just take out all this and i will trace this design oh i think i i want to add something here so i will add a small kite shape here and i will add one like this leaf shape here and i will add one more leaf shape here and i will add one more leaf shape here like this now see i think something is missing here what is missing here oh my god i missed this design over here so what i will do nothing need not worry that is why this tracing is helpful i will again adjust this area the flower again i will adjust it on the cloth and quickly draw this fix a few tape right so that this is not moving again and i will quickly draw it and remove this now see you can see the complete design this is the way even if we miss on something some area some portion of the design with the help of such you know stencil handmade stencil right you can always correct your pattern so i guess you have understood how easy and how convenient it is to use this right so the same pattern which we did here we will do it on the other side right and i'll show you how to place i'll go in the next corner which is the opposite corner of the pillow case like this clear my working area i will just with my hands clear the area and in this corner again i will see this 90 degree angle the 90 degree angle here and i will fix my design here just set it first don't be in hurry okay in this position just set your design fix it and you need to draw it okay so i will draw and show it to you you can see i have already made the design on the pillow covers just have a look this is the first pillow cover diagonally i have traced the design and this is the second pillow cover here also diagonally i have traced the design we'll start coloring now for coloring there is something which you need to be careful about uh i'll see the opening yes this is a stitched pillow cover so this is the opening this is the place from where we put the pillow inside what i'll do is i'll take a newspaper like this i want a newspaper and one sheet i think will be enough 
I'll open the sheet like this and I will put it inside the pillow cover. Now why I am doing so? I am doing so because I don't want my design to spread on the back side of the pillow cover. So like this just nicely till the end ensure with your hand put your hand inside the pillow cover and till the end ensure that the newspaper is spread nicely yes just ensure check with your hands whether it is till the end or not if it is not then again do slight adjustments inside and check again I will take another sheet now another sheet of newspaper and this also will be placed inside like this so here it goes the other paper also and again I am checking ensuring that it is covered properly okay all the part which I have sketched should be newspaper should be under it nicely just check and you will be able to see, see little printing of the newspaper also and you will come to know whether my newspaper is at the correct position or not okay I think one more I want here so I'll just measure roughly and I will use one sheet only now I guess this much will be enough yes I'm sure this will be enough so I'll open it now I'll go turn it back side okay oh my one newspaper just ran away all right and this flap okay this flap the pocket this one inside it it has to go and fix it properly check with your hand do adjustment with your hand fix it nicely inside right I think I've done it I'm sure I've done it so I'll just flip it and check once yes see I can even see the print little print of the newspaper I can see yes once I have checked it this one is an extra paper now I don't need it yes I do need it I will keep this paper here and I will keep my color here because I don't want my color to spill anywhere on this pillowcase we will start from one side this outer boundary So dipping my paintbrush, I have taken because it is a straight line. Line, so I have taken a, a two number flat brush, and like this, I'll just bring it little closer. And like this, I will make the line, neat line. here we go like this filling the line this one is the very basic one see how nicely we are filling the line smooth Be careful that you are not you know moving out of the lines which you have marked with the pencil be careful about that 
try to keep your outline smooth like this please do not use water see there is no water at my table I am sure you will like the color combination as well. Softly, smoothly move your brush. See that you are making smooth lines. Line should not be rough. I think the rest of this outer boundary we can do in a time lapse. We have finished. We are doing this awesome fabric painting. I am sure you will like it and give it a try. There are few things which you need to keep in mind that now this has to dry for 24 hours. Whatever painting you have done, it needs to dry for 24 hours. After 24 hours, you need to reverse iron. What do you mean by reverse iron? Reverse iron means you want to 
from the back side of the cloth you are going to iron it once it's called reverse iron not from the front remember it's really important if you're going to do it from the front you're going to spoil it like anything so reverse iron recommended after 24 hours now then only you give it a wash no washing before 24 hours please remember these are some important things which you always need to keep in mind whether you are doing a course like this fabric painting for beginners or you are doing an advanced fabric painting course right the second thing always use a sheet of newspaper you have seen so many spots are here on the newspapers because i always place this newspaper on my cloth and my colors and my brush and ensure that there is no spotting here and there on the fair material you have already seen that my fair material is quite neat there is no spotting anywhere else please notice that it's absolutely neat there is no spotting anywhere on the pillowcase right another thing one more last tip for this is that i have used two kinds of brushes you can see one is round one is flat right so the flat brush i have used for filling work and the round brush i have used for making the tips these tips here and there you can see the no? fine tips here also you can see the fine tips so fine tips and curves i have used or you can say outline has been done by this round brush and with the help of flat brush this is flat brush number zero i have done the filling work i have always also used the back side of this brush for putting these kinds of mandala dots i'm sure you have enjoyed this video and you will definitely give a try to fabric painting so stay home stay safe stay happy always don't forget to like share and subscribe my video the beautiful hand painted pillow covers are now ready I am sure you are going to enjoy a good sleep on them. Don't forget to make some and gift it to your friends and family members. They will definitely love to receive this as a gift from you all. Thank you.